you know, the police were on the side of the establishment and that there's no freedom of speech. I, you know, I, I grew up with this naive idea that in America, you can march through the streets, you can hold up signs, you can demonstrate peacefully because it was a peaceful demonstration. And that is okay because this is a democracy. And that's what I saw that night in Times Square. I said, oh, there's something wrong with that. At the age of 17, after getting hit over the head, Howard Zinn discovered the violence of social struggles hidden under the magic glitter of the American dream. The dream that attracted millions of people from around the world. Even though I hate the up and down format, I'm going to use it for this because of a lot of reasons. One is that it's easier to hold. Whoa, almost fell off the chair. There's me and Audrey. See, I can't see if it's framed right, so it's the happy accidents that uh, Orson Welles used to talk about. So this is just a really short film about that right there. That will be the second bowl I smoke. It's been over a month, and I've been smoking CBD like it's going out of style, and it's just not. First time I smoked a good, uh, bad CBD is crap. Smoke some good CBD, some actual hemp. Where is it? The stuff over here. That is the second one I got. The first one with the Bubba Kush. And because it's really good stuff, it was like an indica. And I thought of it as an indica. And after a couple days, it really just became methadone. I mean, it was really, it wasn't keeping me high. I wasn't feeling any euphoria. It was calming me down, which is what CBD does. But this, this isn't CBD, as you can tell, obviously, by me making this film. So the first thing I did after I smoked the bowl before that one, which, uh, as you can tell, is just about done there. So the first thing I did, now this box is full of my art supplies, and they've just been sitting in that box since I moved in. The first thing I did upon smoking that first bowl was come over here and start digging through these, because I'm looking for a certain... Well, all kinds of stuff, actually, because then this is a good little tray to keep stuff in, and that showed up. And what's cool about that is that before she left, Victoria put two of them right here on the fan. And the cool thing, well, it would make more sense if the fan was plugged in for you guys to understand what I'm saying here. Anyway, so the cool thing about is when the second one, when the two of them were on there, it flapped like a butterfly. But the cool thing about it falling off, whoops, set up the, the cool thing about the butterfly that, <clears throat> butterfly, yeah, I got all tongue twisted and discombobulated. My tongue got all cattywampus. Because the point I was making here is that almost alive right so they say butterflies carry the souls of the dead and that looks like a butterfly but it's not it's a plastic one a plastic one that used to be there and then it fell off and now it's alive when the fan blows on it which is cool but the point I was making I think was that first thing I did upon smoking the bowl was get the art supplies I'm looking for black found the shoes if you periodically see shoes and want to buy them for stone so I found these and I'm probably I'm sure they don't fit stone anymore because Vicky's been carrying them with her for a while I believe those were in the storage unit that I cleaned out in California that's a long story back here in Missouri now I'm planning what to do More butterflies that she left this is her mirror where was I so I put most of my art up <laughs> hey folks, what's up? Anywho, there was a point to this. Oh, it's my first bowl back. And all of a sudden I'm being creative and artistic. And I have no idea if this is aimed correctly at me or it's zoomed in and looks all weird because I can't turn the phone around because the stupid old iPhone, something's wrong with the microphone if you use the camera that faces you when you're looking at it. 
and it keeps cutting out and doing crazy shit. So I can't use that or I know I'm gonna be editing audio for an extra 20 hours. Anywho, I think the point, I'm gonna set this in the corner, is that within minutes of smoking that first bowl, it says out of tune, way out of tune. I'm not even gonna play it. The point is I'm holding it, right? The pointing is, the pointing is, see, my tongue is not keeping up with my brain is part of the thing. There's my art supplies, I'm already going through it. This thing is my next art piece. Oh, the point I was saying is I'm looking for the black paint because, <laughs> got a little sidetracked, didn't we? Because these pieces of art, this one here, and that one there, which glows in the dark really cool. In fact, I can show you how cool it is when it glows in the dark. If I use this magic thing right here, let's see how that one will glow. And this one is cool because it's not regular glow in the dark paint. It is, let's shut the light off and show you what it is. Bunch of stuff up here. Hey there, look how she looks with that thing, man. Whoa, right? Right. Different color purples that glow in the dark, which you can't see because the flash is on. Is there a way to shut the, no, it won't even let me shut it off in this aspect radio, ratio, but anyway, so you can't see it. <laughs> you have to see it in the daytime, but this is how cool it looks with the black light showing off what's gonna glow in the dark. Oh, the point of this was multiple glow in the dark purples. Like that's a different purple. There's actually a mix of like two purples and a red. And I shouldn't be talking that loud because it's like midnight and I live in an apartment now and I shouldn't be yelling because I'm all, hey, look at me, I got weed. It's not a good way to keep an apartment in a state that barely legalized medical and still hasn't legalized recreational, but I managed to get myself and uh, now I'm gonna have to go back and edit and make sure my, damn it. I'm gonna have to go back and edit that because it shows my, does it show my, oh, it shows my new address. And now I gotta go back and edit that. Fuck. Because I was just gonna post this raw, now I can't because some motherfucker will start fucking with me again. I like this guy. And that glows purple and green and gray. Well, the gray, it's not really, where is it? I'm gonna have to look at it and then tell you. What color is that green? I can't show you because you got a flash on. Well, if I'm read, you know what? If I get to edit that, then I'm gonna edit this. It's gonna be in multiple pieces. Watch. All right. So now that you can see how it glows in the dark, because I pull the light away, and boom, you can still see it without your flash on, son. Right? Gets all crazy in there. A little bit purpley blue. Right? Right. And that's what, whoa, now I'm half blind. Now I gotta do it in this eye just to get it right. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. You should not, never shine that thing in your eye. That'd be bad. Anywho, now I got a flash in my face and I can't see. What was I doing? Oh, I was making a video about how I smoked a bowl and now everyone's cool again, right? The whole world and universe is nice and cool. I should turn some lights on so flash isn't blinding me so now my eyes will adjust to the light and the flash will be less blinding and you can see that's one of the few that doesn't glow in the dark but that's the million dollar one because that's the self-portrait you can see it's self-portrait at sunset from my point of view so it's me looking out this is my mask the mask of my soul but that one doesn't glow in the dark. This one does, and I love this one because that's a cool little painting, right? But then the reflection, and this glows in the dark and, and looks like a reflection in the lake of the above scene. It, I, this is one of my favorites. I'm really proud of that one. And this one, the blue in this mother glows like crazy. But anywho, I think the point was, oh, that I'm getting the 
So I bought some frames, some picture frames that I'm gonna cut up and use the frame because the problem with these guys is that they're on glass. And if I frame them, you're gonna lose, like that goes right to the edge. You can't frame that just by putting it on a frame. Oh, I love this one. Cause that glows in the dark and all those wild colors and all these glow in the dark. Oh, but I'm not gonna show you that in this video. That's a different video where I do a, because see that hole in the wall there? Let me turn some more light on in this mother. Let there be light. Oh, I was too late with that. How many light? Anyway, um, might move that over to the next stud so I can fit three of these guys. See, this one's cool because in the corner of this one is that right there, <laughs> right? And then where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where? Oh, there's the other one. So the this part. If you close in on this part, <laughs> don't, wow, you get this painting, <laughs> right? Cool, there's my base. Bought that at a pawn shop that was going out of business and uh, got it for like nothing, dude. Just gotta finish stringing it. And my point, I think I had a point in all of this and I'm gonna have to end this now or you're gonna start tuning out and then my average viewer minutes will go down and then my life will get worse because YouTube will pay me less money and there will be more videos and especially because now I have weed, which I think was the point of all this, was that it's time, it's time, I shouldn't have spit that out. There was still a little nugget in that. Well, yeah, it is a little bit of green nugget. I'm gonna save that out of my sink and hide it somewhere good because someday I'm gonna be like, Where's that nugget I had? Where's that gosh darn nugget? Put it. Ooh, it'll get. Ah, maybe I'll just leave it up there. Okay. Anyway, I bought that because it was like $10 and I might be able to use that. I'm gonna be buying some recording equipment now that I got guitars again and I need something I can make some drum sounds on and I think I can I mean it's <laughs> stupid but I think I can play around with it a little bit in the uh, in post as they say so my point is that guitar that's out of tune I gotta find a tuning fork one of my points is that I need to find a tuning fork the other point is that I think I'm gonna smoke this second bowl <laughs> great is this? I'm gonna smoke this second bowl right now. And that's gonna be the end of this video. Like when I smoke this bowl, whoa, don't look at my dress, you weirdo. Jeez. Is that even on? Yeah, it's still on. Hey, remember when I used to do that? Anyway, hold my, hold my thingy down so you can't look at my junk, as they say. I don't know they call it junk. It's, it's quite handy. Anywho, so second bowl is going to end this video. <laughs> Clear the lungs. Prepare. Addendum. So there was something I wanted in the video that I didn't put in the video. I'm gonna put it in now. So imagine when you die, you get to haunt the world you came from. What would you do? I mean, this whole poltergeist notion can they touch things? But I don't think they can die. I used to not think they could touch things, right? They can maybe haunt your thoughts. I know Audrey, I heard Audrey's voice for almost a year after she died, and then she said, goodbye, I'm moving on to the next. There was no, there was no word for what, <laughs> she just knew she was moving on. Anywho, so this, I come home, and I know I set these things there, 
like I'm sure one point I was grating cheese and I set that there. And this is the old edibles from California. It's long since empty. Aww. But look at the architecture, right, of this scene. And what is there? I mean, that's the center of the scene, right? If someone were to lay those out to give you a happy accident, and you're like, yeah, so what? It's a blueberry. So I have this film project called Blueberry that I've been stalling because, well, I mean, I had the perfect cast and I'm estranged, I guess is the word. I love that word. I'm estranged from some of the cast. I'm getting along with that particular person. So the film has been on hold and she's either gonna have to get her shit together or I'm gonna have to find another actress to play that part. Anywho, it's called Blueberry. It's about reincarnation. The basic story, and this came in my head, I saw a blueberry on the floor at work two years ago. It's not even the job I have now, the previous job. And I thought about somebody, I'm always picking up little things at work, because back in my day, we did a sweep every hour. They don't do that anymore. They just leave crap on the floor, so there's always crap on the floor. But this single blueberry spawned, by the end of that day, the entire... I just realized I can look in the mirror to see if I'm framing this shot up right. What am I? Here. Whoa. Okay. Let's, uh... Okay. <laughs> Why, hello there. So what was my... What was I saying? <laughs> see, I'm clearing my sinuses. And I find a blueberry. Framed up. I did not do that. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess I did. That's where I laid those things, each one separately. I mean, it, that was three days before that went there. And this has been sitting there for like a week. That's where I set my glasses on to dry and to go be washed. Because you got to wash your glasses every day after work. Because I work in a deli again. Oh, Jesus. Jesus H. Christ jumped up almighty on a sidecar. Have some mercy on my soul, why don't you? But the point... <laughs> the blueberry. So the the script, and I'll give you the synopsis, and someday I will, I have to write the script because it has to be, there's actors and actresses in this, so it has to be precise. You can't just go in there and wing it. I mean, you can sometimes, but not for something like this. This is a film called Blueberry, where a little old lady, who's going to be played by my old roommate, is like dancing with a picture of her deceased husband, and she is a widow. That's why we got along. I'm a widower. She's a widower. She's a widow. I'm a widower. She's a widow. I'm a widower. Say that four times fast. I'm a widower. She's a widow. That's even harder. I'm a widower. She's a widow. Anyway. Point. Oh, so she's dancing with this like picture of her husband. And then the next scene is she goes to the grocery store. And you see this little lady pushing the cart in the grocery store. And she's great because she's been smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Given, given hell to the employees. <laughs> okay, so she goes to the grocery store and she slips and falls on a blueberry and dies in the grocery store. Now the subplot that wraps around that <sighs> with the actress I'm estranged from, who's great, she's awesome, but the cops caught her with like, oh my God, like half a fucking ton of weed, like a whole bunch of weed in her car. So then she had to cooperate with them. And, uh, you know, I, I don't hold that against her. It's just, I can't be creative with narcs. I mean, it's just the whole thing going on. But anyway, the point, Blueberry. So, okay, I'm gonna leave the actors, and act, I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the cast out of this and just talk about, so I have to now decouple the character from the actress that I thought was going to play it. Maybe she still will. I don't know. There's a letter coming. And, yeah, I'm writing it. You know me when I start writing letters to friends who were fucking up. <laughs> I usually let them have it. It's great. It's the best thing about being a writer. Obviously, since I'm not getting paid for being a writer. And what did Audrey say? I don't understand your films. I don't like your art. 
your me oh my I don't understand your film. I don't understand your art. Your films are boring. That was it. I don't understand your art. Your films are boring. Your music is she didn't even say about the music. She put down the music in some way. But <laughs> then she said, but you're the greatest writer I've ever read. So that kind of told me that's like the, I'm just all these creative things, but maybe that's the thing I'm supposed to be. But I just, uh, I don't know. So it's on the side and I can use it to chastise good friends when they stab me in the back, irregardless the reasons. But I digress. What was I saying? I'm not even gonna cut that. I'm just gonna keep going. Um, what was I saying? There was a point to all this. Oh, Blueberry. So the other subplot that's, that's going through Blueberry. So a mother and her two kids. Okay, they're coming into the store at the same time, like right within, you'll see them in a shot going into the same story as the old lady who's about to die on the Blueberry. So one of the kids is well behaved and one of the kids is a brat and her son and her nephew perfect like they have to play this part I hope I get her back because then I get the whole team <sighs> anyway because they're awesome they're my favorite people but they stabbed me in the back because I pissed off the government a long time ago and <laughs> now I get narcs fucking with my soul what was I saying I digressed and then blueberry so the other subplot that's going through Blueberry is that, so this mother's going to the store and the, and the, she gets blueberries, puts them in the cart and the kids, the, the younger kid who's the brat is like complaining about not having anything, anything to eat. So she gives him the blueberries and he just throws a bunch on the floor. No, wait, no, he, he throws one at her. That's what it happens first. First, he just throws a blueberry at her and she's like, you little brat, God damn it. Like in the store, like you can't, you can't slap him, but you, you know, just threw a blueberry at your head. You know, he needs to be uh, disciplined, for lack of a better word. But I digressed and then I went to the blueberry. Okay, so he throws a blueberry at her and she says to him, you, you know, it's because you're such a little asshole, you're gonna end up alone your whole life. Okay. She just like curses him like this. She's so tired of this little brat. And he just threw a blueberry at her head. So she curses him. And he picks up a second blueberry and he throws it at her again. But playful this time, not like mean. And he says, we'll see. <laughs> okay. He like gets this mysterious like, okay, we'll see. And he just like tosses it. She catches it in her mouth. Oh, I just thought of that. He throws it so gently that she catches it. Like, okay, I'll have a blueberry too. We'll all calm the fuck down. Right? Right? Because that's how that would... Because she's a great parent. So that's how that... And she's a great aunt. And the, the kids are around the same age. And it's her sister's kid. So it's... I mean, it's a whole... They're a family. It's awesome. So, anyway. So he throws this last blueberry. The second blueberry. Wait, no. The second blueberry has to trip the lady. Okay, he throws one, because he's got to keep in the, the, the gentle throw and catch. He throws it, she catches it in her mouth, then he throws another one and she just misses it. And then, like, the other kid's like, Mom, can we get this? And she just gets distracted and forgets about the blueberry. It rolls to a stop in the aisle. Now remember, he, she cursed him, he's going to be alone his whole life, and he said... Okay, so that phone ran out of space. i got to use this phone, and I trust that this phone, I can actually look at the selfie cam... So now I'm backwards from where I was. I don't know, sometimes it shows backwards letters and sometimes it shows, I don't even understand phones, man. It's everything, it's, it's the Alexandria library in my hand and it takes commands and stuff like, hey Siri, do this. Hey, no, 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 not now, not now. I'm making a film. Oh my God, I said her name. She'll, she'll come to life, man. Watch out for that freak. Oh, got start about S-I-R-I. -I. We'll have to spell her name when we speak of her. Otherwise, I mean, she'll shut off the video. She doesn't give a fuck. I'm surprised she didn't. I like that. I was going to stop. She'll stop whatever's going on on the phone. If you say, talk. I played a film I made about me saying S-I-R-I. -I, and while I was playing that film, it stopped because she answered her own phone. Fucking playing a video saying her name. <laughs> Freaky. But I digressed. And then I digressed a few more times. And the point is, so Blueberry, okay? So blueberry, so the blueberry rolls, 
the, the second one, so she catches one in her mouth, he tosses her another one, like bounces off. She gets distracted by the other kid, rolls to a stop. The old lady slips on it, falls, dies in the store. Right? I mean, just boom. The second act found <laughs> this little short thing. Just wow, what an ending. So then, I mean, in all the commotion, you know, all by the point, by the time she, the the mother with the two kids is checking out of the store, you know, there's an ambulance on the way, but people are still shopping. It's no one knows she's dead. Like she'll die on the way to the hospital. I mean, it's you have to think about that character. You're still in shock because the little old lady you saw dancing with her husband, who this is another part of it. When she's dancing with her husband, okay, her dearly departed husband, the picture. She's saying, oh, my blueberry. She calls him. That's what she calls him. <laughs> okay? This is her blueberry. And then she falls and dies on a blueberry. The blueberry that this kid, who was cursed to be alone, but didn't really buy it. <laughs> this is what that kid threw to make this happen. So the lady dies. And it fades out. The mother pushing the groceries out. Fades out slowly. Boom, comes up six, wait, no, it's gonna be nine plus, okay. It just comes up a year later, okay? I have to have the exact, who knows how reincarnation works specifically. Fades up slowly a year later. The kid and his aunt and his cousin are visiting her friend. She's like, you ready to see the baby? And her friend just had a baby. And the mothers bring the boys in to see the baby. And they all kind of look at the baby and the baby's comfortable and happy and just playing with her toys and drinking a bottle. <sighs> Even though I don't wanna, I don't wanna push any bottles. But this isn't me pushing anything. This is, this is, I mean, should be more natural. I hate kids drinking out of plastic. It's bad for you when you're trying to put a brain together little plastic as possible, but I digressed again. Okay, so they're all seeing this new baby, okay? And they all kind of leave the room, and the, the little boy kind of stays behind, and he says to her, and he says, okay, I'm not gonna give away the ending. <laughs> I'm gonna tie it all together in the end, trust me. I have to put it on paper, it's all up here. Like, Blueberry does not exist on paper at all. But now that I've smoked like a bowl and a half, and that's on the counter reminding me to tell you how great of a film this is gonna be, and I, I really should make it eventually. But I have a lot of other stuff to do now too, because <sighs> desks for recording and editing and writing and painting. I need a desk in here for painting because that's where all the paints are. But, uh, okay, <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go finish that second bowl. And then probably, uh, what time is it? <laughs> I looked up at the, thought it was 5.12 in the morning, but then I saw it move to 13 and 14 and realized it was just the counter. And it probably is, I need a clock up in here. Like hands, I don't want glowing, no more glowing. As little glowing as possible, please. Except for the cool heart that glows in the dark, which is another video for another day. Good night, everybody. <laughs> goes, there's a cat literally sitting in my doorway. Hey, kitty. Hi. Yeah, hi, sweetie. You were just chilling by my door? Hi. You're beautiful. The first night I smoke queen, I look out of my window 
and I see yeah you are you chilling in my car you're my new friend I'm looking out so I look out the window and right by my car driver's side door this cat just chilling and looking up into my window that's what's so freaky I mean you saw that other cat run away so there's obviously cats out here but she just chilled by my car door and looked up into my window <laughs> oh, this car is such a mess it's, it's all laundry like blankets laundry need to get down and this is filthy I don't want to touch that I'm just getting my mail I'm not even, I'll come back for that dirty piece of shit Fucking work jacket. So it's covered in deli. Anyway, got my mail. Filmed the cat that was just chilling at my car door. And I looked down. It's like the universe reacts a little different when you're on the cannabis. Not quite DMT slash ayahuasca levels, anything, nothing like that. They even close. I should be quiet though, because I'm going into the apartment. We are walking the hallway. Anyway. My mail. <laughs> These radical friends had been saying to me seemed to be true. You know, the police were on the side of the establishment and that there's no freedom of speech. I you know, I, I grew up with this naive idea that in America you can march through the streets, you can hold up signs, you can demonstrate peacefully, because it was a peaceful demonstration, and that is okay, because this is a democracy. And that's what I saw that night in Times Square, I said, oh, there's something wrong with that. At the age of 17, after getting hit over the head, Howard Zinn discovered the violence of social struggles hidden under the magic glitter of the American dream. The dream that attracted millions of people from around the world. In the United States, you know, the police were on the side of the establishment and that there's no freedom of speech. I, you know, I, I grew up with this naive idea that in America, you can march through the streets, you can hold up signs, you can demonstrate peacefully.